the Solway Firth, broadcaster Emma Kennedy and her puppy Molly are enjoying the dramatic panoramas of Cumbria. I've explored all over Great Britain and I only recently discovered the Lake District, in fact only three years ago, but since then I've absolutely fallen in love with its spectacular landscape. I simply think it's one of the most beautiful places on earth and the brilliant thing is it's right on my doorstep. The glittering gem in the heart of the magnificent Lake District, the still waters and wooded slopes of Grasmere are as close as you can get to a national treasure. So I'm very excited to introduce my Maltese Terrier Poodle Cross to its considerable charms. This is my Maltipoo. Uh, she's called Molly and she's eight months old. We have a very loving, close relationship. She's adorable, and I love her. Molly's a spirited little thing, full of beans. Come on then. But she's not quite used to such epic terrain as this. So like one of the area's favorite sons, William Wordsworth, will be making some time for quiet contemplation too. If I was a poet, Molly, like William Wordsworth, I'd come up with something amazing here, like saying, oh, Lake, you are so super, but I'm afraid I'm not. I'm not as good as him. But what about that for a view, eh? Pretty good. Our four-and-a-half-mile round walk starts off in Grasmere, taking in some of Wordsworth's favourite haunts. Molly's little legs will get a workout scaling vertiginous Lufferith before we head back to the village for a local delicacy. <laughs> Molly is firmly on the leash as we join the hordes of hikers in Grasmere, but before we head for the heroic hills, we're going in search of one of my literary heroes, William Wordsworth. And our first stop is a place which has become a point of pilgrimage for as many fans. So here we go. It's St Oddwald Church where William Wordsworth is buried. Wordsworth's headstone is here along with his brother John and sister Dorothy, for whom William and his extraordinary talent became almost an obsession. And here they are. I studied the great poet when I was younger. Now Molly and I come to pay our respects. And Dorothy was so devoted to William that the night before he got married to his childhood sweetheart, uh, Mary Hutchinson, she actually took the wedding ring that Mary was supposed to wear and wore it throughout the night. And, and in the morning she got dressed in white and there was a sort of a strange, almost a betrothal ceremony between her and her brother William. Emotionally, it took a great toll that he was getting married. Thousands of people come here every year. In fact, it makes it one of the most visited literary spots in, in all of Britain. Um, and as you can see, it's an absolutely beautiful churchyard and beautiful surroundings. Perfect place to be buried. From Wordsworth's final resting place, Molly and I visit his home and then get the ultimate workout as we trek the hills in search of the sights and sounds that inspired him. While way down south, my lab 